Hello again. My name is John Cater, and I'm a professional investor. In a previous video, I mentioned the importance of adjusted financial metrics. That caused a bit of a ruckus, with lots of people asking some very direct questions about investors' use of such things. So let me expand a little. Let's start with the basics. Yes, adjusted financials can be invaluable. They help provide clarity on a business's underlying performance. And it's that underlying performance, not the one-offs, that we forecast and care most about. But no, that doesn't mean that investors don't value GAAP. Audited financial statements are the bedrock of our analysis. Without them, it would be Wild West time, with management free to make up anything they want. And that's not good for markets, for investors, for companies, for anyone. So we need both. We need audited financials, and we need help in identifying the one-offs, things that won't recur and that don't have anything to do with the ongoing operations of a company. But there is always a but. There are some CFOs out there who see adjusted financials as a way of exploring their creative side, as a way to try to convince investors of an alternative reality, a reality where they have actually met their earnings forecasts. There are some who think that a recurring non-recurring is just fine, who think that an adjusted number is earnings, not including all the bad stuff. Those kind of adjusted financials don't help with forecasting, but they sure do help in signaling the culture of the firm and the integrity of management. So what can you do to make sure that investors know that your adjusted earnings are reliable and, well, honest? First, tell us why you are making the adjustments. What is the economic rationale? Second, reconcile back to gap, and not by using bucket-sized line items that could mean anything. Make sure that the items identified do actually tie to lines in the financials, and not a mishmash of lines. Get into the detail. Give us enough to be able to figure out whether we agree with your adjustment or not. Help us to figure out tax impacts so we can adjust the number if necessary. Finally, nothing is forever. If you change the basis of calculating a specific adjusted financial, explain the rationale for the change and provide some trend data. Call me suspicious, but if companies are constantly adjusting the adjustments, I get a little nervous. Given the heat that this topic seems to generate, I may be back. But that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in.